Hello there. In this video, we will be learning about angle of contact. Now, whenever a liquid is in contact with a solid, then the surface of the liquid is curved. As you are able to see, it could curve in these possible ways. The particular shape that would be occupied by the liquid depends upon the relative strength of the cohesive and the adhesive forces. Now let's first understand what are cohesive and adhesive forces and how does this affect the shape of the curvature. Adhesive forces are the forces of attraction between the liquid and the solid molecules and the cohesive forces are the attraction between the liquid molecules. So imagine a situation where the adhesive forces are stronger than the cohesive forces. So in this particular situation, the liquid will form a curvature something like this on the solid. So the liquid spreads out more on the surface as you are able to see here. The liquid wets the surface and the example would be water on a clean glass. So you might have seen this in the real life that whenever the water is spread out on the clean glass, it would occupy a shape something like this. So we can say that in this particular situation, the attraction between the liquid and solid molecules is much more stronger than the attraction between the liquid and liquid molecules. Now let's understand with an example what happens when the cohesive forces are stronger than the adhesive forces. So when the cohesive forces are stronger than the adhesive forces, that would mean that the attraction between the liquid molecules is stronger than the attraction between the liquid and solid molecules. In that situation, the liquid will take this sort of a shape. So the liquid pulls together into a droplet. The liquid does not wet the surface. And the example would be mercury on the glass. So whenever a mercury is dropped on the glass, so it would like to pull together to form a sort of a droplet. Now, let's understand all these things in the terms of angle of contact. So the angle of contact or the contact angle is the angle formed between the tangent to the liquid surface and the solid surface at the point where the liquid, solid and the air meet. So in this situation, this is the point where the solid liquid and the air are meeting. So we can create a tangent to the liquid surface and this is how the tangent would be. Now the angle of contact is the angle between this tangent and the solid surface. So this is the angle that I'm writing with theta. Now please remember the angle of contact is measured within the liquid surface. So I could have taken this angle as well, but we will take this particular angle. So this is what is called the angle of contact. So as you can clearly see in this case, the angle of contact that is theta is less than 90 degree or we can say that the angle of contact is acute angle. Now let's find the same in this situation. So this is the point where all the liquid, solid and air are intersecting. So I can create a tangent that would look something like this and the angle of contact would be this particular angle. And as you can clearly see in this case, theta is greater than 90 degrees. So we can say that in this case, the angle is an obtuse angle. Now let's understand angle of contact a little more in detail. Imagine that this is a molecule at this particular edge and let's try to find out the interfacial tensions on this particular molecule. This particular molecule would be attracted by these molecules like this and it would be having this sort of a force here. So we can say that the interfacial tension, let's call this as S, would be in this direction because of the liquid and solid interface. Similarly, this particular molecule will also face interfacial tensions from these molecules. It would be in this particular direction and let's call this as S and the interface is basically the liquid and the air. Likewise, this particular molecule will also face the interfacial tensions from these molecules and it would be along this particular direction and we can call this as S and this would be the solid and air interface. Let's say this is the angle of contact. So angle of contact can be written by theta. So we can form an equation. So imagine that this particular particle is in equilibrium. So all these forces would be balanced. So I can say that the horizontal forces, the horizontal forces would be balanced. Emission of this forces in the x direction should be equal to zero. So we can balance all the interfacial tensions. So we can say that S SA that is the solid and air interface would be equal to SLS that is the liquid solid interface plus this SLA that is the interfacial tension in the liquid air interface will have a component in along the horizontal direction and as you can see here it would be the cos theta into SLA so I can write SLA 
into cos theta. So from here we can say that S L A into cos theta would be equal to S S A minus S L S. From here we can have two possible outcomes. We can say that if the value of interfacial tension from solid air interface is greater than the interfacial tension from the liquid solid interface in that particular situation this entire thing would come out to be positive and the another possibility is when SSA that is the interfacial tension between the solid air interface is less than the interfacial tension between the liquid solid interface in that situation this entire thing will come out to be negative now we can say that if this is positive then means cos theta is positive then we can say that the theta is less than 90 degree or we can say that the angle is acute since it is in the first quadrant and when this entire thing is negative so cos theta also comes out to be negative so we can say that theta would be obtuse that is greater than 90 degree because we know that the value of cos theta in second quadrant that is when theta would be greater than 90 would be negative so from here we can conclude that if the interfacial tension between the solid and air interface is greater than the interfacial tension between the liquid and solid interface that generally happens when a water drop is basically on a glass sheet then this sort of a curvature or the shape would be formed in that case the angle of contact would be less than 90 that would mean the angle of contact is acute angle and the example as I said earlier is when a water drop is on a glass surface. A very similar situation will happen in this case. The only difference would be like in this case, this would be SLS that is the interfacial tension of the liquid and uh, solid surface. This would be the interfacial tension between the solid and the air interface. This would be the interfacial tension between the liquid and air interface. Now in this situation the difference is the angle of contact in this particular situation as you can see clearly here is greater than 90. The equation would be as it is the same but this is this particular situation when the angle is obtuse. So in this situation what we can say that the interfacial tension between the liquid and solid interface is much more greater than the interfacial tension between the solid and air interface and hence the answer is coming out to be negative. Cos theta is coming out to be negative and hence the angle of contact is an obtuse angle and the example for this would be a mercury drop on a glass sheet. Let's see the angle of contact for some important interfaces. So for water and glass interface the angle is 8 degree and that should be the case as we just studied it has to be an acute angle. For mercury and glass it would be an obtuse angle and it comes out to be 138 degrees. An interesting case is the case of pure water and silver. In that particular case the angle of contact comes out to be 90 degree. I hope you are now familiar with angle of contact. See you in the next video. Till then bye bye.